In this Sophie short, we're talking about six common watercolor mistakes and how to easily fix them to get back on track with your watercolor painting. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sophie with Sophie B Art, and today we're talking about the top six pesky watercolor mistakes and how to fix them. Let's dive right in. So first you can see we have a really watery wash. You can see that it's really hard to control and looks splotchy. The water will pool and can sometimes end up dripping all over your painting. It's really annoying. So to fix this, dry off all the water on your brush until it's completely dry. This will create what I call a thirsty brush and it will soak up all the extra water. Run the brush evenly across the pooled area a few times. You may need to dry off your brush between strokes so it can continue to soak up the water. Doing this can sometimes lead to the wash looking uneven at the end, so while the paper is still wet, go back in and lightly brush over the full surface to balance it all out. I'm doing this again to show you that you can also use a paper towel to soak up the pooled water if you want. I prefer the brush because I feel like I have more control, but it can take a little bit longer. If you have a large area and you need to soak it up fast, a paper towel might be better. Again, I'm going back in with my brush while the paper is still damp to even out the wash. Next, let's talk about bleeding. This can happen when your wash seeps into another wash next to it. This can be a great technique if you want your colors to mix together and create a hazy or ombre effect like a sunset, but not so great if you don't want your colors mixing. Pigment naturally wants to go where the water is. So if you don't let your first layer completely dry before adding the next, the paint will make friends with whatever's next to it. Avoid this by waiting for the first layer to totally dry out before laying in the next. I'll show you how this looks later on in the video when my green circle has completely dried. Another problem that can happen is that you lay on paint that doesn't have enough water. This can be a cool technique if you wanna add texture to your painting, but not helpful when you want a smooth surface. You can fix this by adding a dip or two of water to your brush, making it damp, but not sopping wet, and running it along the dry area to smooth it out. Overworking your paper can happen when you keep working or reworking a spot on your paper. Eventually, enough brush strokes will cause the pulp of the watercolor paper to pull apart and into your artwork. This will not only ruin your paper, but create blotchiness as the paper bits will suck up all the pigment placed there. There's not much you can do after your paper has been overworked, so try to be cognizant of this when you're making your art. Now let's talk streakiness. This is definitely one of the problems I struggle most with. Some colors are more prone to streaks than others, so it can be a pain in the butt. Streakiness can happen when there's not enough water in your brush or when your paintbrush is too small for the area you're painting. You can fix this by going back over the streaks with another wash or brush in the opposite direction of your first wash. When the paint dries, it will be nice and even. The last problem that can happen are unwanted drips. This happens so often for me, so here's my trick. I actually add more water to the drip to dilute the pigment. Then I get a paper towel and pat it up. I repeat this process until the drip is completely gone. You can do this trick while the paint is wet or already dry. It's a lifesaver. Okay, so as promised, my green circle is mostly dry and I'm gonna show you guys how the layering looks now. I probably could have waited for it to dry a little longer, so I still have some bleeding, 
but a lot less than the first go around. You can see the immediate difference in bleeding after waiting for the wash to dry first. If I waited longer, it would have looked even crisper. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this tutorial by hitting that thumbs up button, subscribing, and turning on notifications. I'm Sophie and thanks for watching.